We're gonna talk about the most common tenant. Uh, uh, we're on TikTok right now, and they said, so look, I'm gonna tell you, man, and it's gonna be funny. So one time, uh, hey, you guys, I gotta do an intro? Look, Matt said I gotta do an intro. Okay, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel, I'm Nate Larger. They say that I'm the Walmart Ben Mala, but I'm really not, I'm Target Ben Mala. So I'm getting that Target money, baby. But hey, Ben, we coming for you, man. We about to buy a bunch of hotels. We gonna be down there with you, baby. So I don't know if you guys know who Ben Mala is, but he's, man, he's great. He's funny, follow him. So um, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button, crush the like button. Um, even you haters hit the like button. You likers hit the like button. You a liker or you a hater? I like likers. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some funny stuff. And look, man, maybe this ain't funny, but some of the most common complaints that have been hilarious over my years in uh, rental property. So one time we had this property, and I, I still remember the address, 1617 Pelham. Look it up. Cincinnati, Ohio, four or five. Man, I bought that place for thirty, forty thousand dollars They sold it for a quarter million dollars. That was a four unit. And the garage door, somebody left the garage door, had garage out back. And the tenant called and she said, and she left voicemail. I probably got the voicemail. I need to find it. If I do, you're going to play it on this clip, right? She said, Gabe, and this is Gabe was our maintenance guy at the time. Gabe, you need to get your white ass over here. They out there shooting like the OK at Corral. So Gabe calls me up. He said, hey, Nate, they're over at Pelham shooting like the OK Corral. <laughs> I said, well, we'll call the police, man. And then Gabe said, I can't remember the lady's number, but I guarantee you. Kathy has it. She's a, and uh, uh, I said, Gabe, look, man, I wouldn't go over there with, if I was you. He was like, I got my gun. I kind of want to go over there. I was like, well, go over there, Gabe. That was Gabe, though, man. Um, then another time, uh, and this is, this ain't really just what uh, tenant, most common tenants uh, complaints. I mean, statistically, did you know that 8% of your tenants cost 51% of your work orders? So identify those ones. And the ones that are gonna keep just being like that, man, you gotta get rid of them because you're losing money on them. Um, there was another lady and she was kind of going, and I ain't talking about nobody bad, but she had dementia and she was going. And so every month she would come in there and about, she would call us maybe a month, every 45 days. And she said, she, she would call and say, y'all need to get the stove man out here. <laughs> and I was like, who's the stove man today? But um, what she would do was she would leave her food on there and she would try to cook boiled eggs and all the water would boil out and it would burn her eggs. So we would go in there and, you know, it was just, we tried to manage it with the family and everything. Tried to keep her in there as long as possible because she didn't want to go to a, uh, you know, retirement home. She liked her independence. And so what we did was we come in there and we'd just tell her that, um, we talked to her, her uh, daughter about it and said, look, what if we just tell her that we moved the stove? Because there's nothing wrong with the stove. We didn't want to tell her that because we didn't know how, you know, we're not medical. And so we would go in there and every 30, 45 days, we'd just tell her we replaced the stove. It'd be good for another 30, 45 days. She'd burn her eggs again. She'd call us up. She'd tell us the stove's broke. Um, but some of the ones that, that, them are some of the ones that really stick out to me. You know, we've been fortunate, man. We haven't had a lot of... Um, shootings at a lot of our properties. We did have uh, a cocktail uh, a bomb throw through one of the windows uh, a couple, three weeks ago, man. Oh yeah, yeah, we posted a video on YouTube, yeah. The link is in the bio or whatever Matt says, right I don't here. even know. Point right here. Yeah, the, the video's right here. Hey, hey, knowing Matt, he gonna put it down here though, <laughs> or over here, I don't know where it's at, but I know he gonna put it somewhere. And um, so, you know, when you look back at that stuff, you know, there's always um, those tenants that stick out to you, man, that are memorable like that. But that was the funniest one, I think, the OK Corral. I probably had to pull that video up about the, about the OK Corral, man. We saved it because that was hilarious. We had Ring Central that, that we kept all that stuff on. But as far as the most common tenant, I mean, the most uh, tenants are going to call you, man, HVAC. Make sure their HVAC and furnace is good. Um, their breakers, their outlets, make sure all the outlets work in the units. Make sure that when you buy a unit, you're cleaning the inside coils and the outside coils. We're going through a problem right now, one of our luxury properties that we bought, we just went in there and spent a bunch of money to fix all of the uh, AC units, and we still had a bunch of problems. It was the first hot weekend. We had a bunch of breakdowns. Actually, man, I need to call Bill and check in with Bill right now 
Let me find out what's going on with these properties here. He didn't call me and I had him on my list, but let me call him and find out what the solution is, how much it's gonna cost. I gotta take all these units and move them out of the... Um... Hey, Bill, what's going on, brother? Man, what's up? Oh, nothing, man. I'm just uh, was calling to check in, brother. Didn't hear back from you, man. Wanted to see if we got any, uh, you know, I know we talked about a solution this morning, seeing if you got any pricing together for me. No, I haven't. I said, well, I, I do and I don't, mate. Um, I did get anything back from 37 on that 2 gig, and that's, that's about the best place I've found to, to, to buy that stuff. Um, and in full disclosure, Nate, if I told you anything other than I was swimming, hey, with service calls, I would lie to you. Um, yep. I did. I didn't put a hundred percent effort into it because I was just I was just doing service calls. Now tomorrow morning I'm gonna be in my office for the first four hours, so it's gonna give me plenty of time to do what I need to. Do. Okay, brother. And then you got Bill and uh, Dan are over there trying to fix the problems that we had, or did they get? I think they, got through, they got through everything in Wyoming. Did. They knocked out eight of them today. They knocked out eight of the service calls that we had over there. Did we identify in any of them or all of them what the problems were? And do we know that the uh, problems are fixed? Bill? You're hey, Bill, you there, buddy? I think you hit mute. Bill? Bill's in Indiana. Bill, you there, brother? All right, call failed. And roofs, make sure your roofs are tight. Have a service schedule for your roofs, especially if they're fat, flat roofs. Uh, if you're new to buying and you don't have your own construction team to go out, make sure that you get a roofer to go up and walk the roof and do an inspection. Look up in the attic. Um, you know, that's a big cause. Pipe boots, go out there, troubleshoot it. If you've had several people out and they can't get it done, it's all common sense, guys. Go out there and troubleshoot it yourself. Every once in a while, I still have to go out to jobs. If somebody can't find a leak or if they can't find something, your underground plumbing lines, make sure those are snaked or jetted out. If them haven't been cleaned out and you bought a building that's 20 or 30 years old, man, just spend the 200 bucks, cable it out straight to the street, get the guy out there while he's doing it, make sure you're not hitting anything. This stuff will save you tons of money and lots of time in the future. So make sure you know your building, walk your building, know your windows, look for leaks on the outside. These things are all gonna cost you more time and money and ultimately gonna cost you a lot more money when you're doing the renovation. Plumbing, do not be cheap when it comes to plumbing. Make sure you get good faucets, deltas, or mowing. I don't care which ones you get, but don't get the little cheap $18 ones with the plastic handle. You're gonna come over there, it's gonna look like that movie where they busted the faucet, water spraying everywhere. They don't know where the shutoff valves are. Now you got a flooded unit. Plus you didn't use the LVP floor and use the, the cheap wood stuff. Your whole unit's ruined. Now you're trying to figure out how much your deductible is. Now your insurance company's canceling you all because you got cheap faucets. Don't buy cheap faucets. Trees, make sure you're looking for big old trees where those roots could possibly go when you're inspecting and looking at a house. Um, make sure you're doing a renovation right. The tuck pointing, the brick around all the windows, the stair step cracking, uh, where is the water draining at? Are the gutters all done on the property? Because once you get these properties done, guys, you truly do not want to come back to them properties. So guys, make sure you join us on our Facebook group of BRRRR Invest. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch us on TikTok, and we'll notify you every time we got new content coming out. We're gonna to try to show you everything that we know that I've learned over doing hundreds of millions of dollars in deals and succeeding, failing, and ultimately scaling to buy hotels. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, Nate Barger on YouTube, and hit the bell and you'll be notified on any new videos that come out.